Hello beauties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please kindly click on the subscribe button, subscribe, like and share. As you are looking at this, this is what we will be learning in this video. So if you want to know how to make this, watch this video to the end and subscribe. Thanks. Alright, welcome back. So let me introduce the material. Well, let me introduce the material we will be using. It is straw mat fascinator we want to make it very simple to make so we be needing this straw mat okay you see just a plain i bought it like this and i bought it 1000 let me show you on that one there's a one that there's this one that has a crown on it it's not just plain like this one it's this one has a crown this is a crown and this is a brim and i bought this two five two five yeah two five so but we'll not be using this you can make use of this for the design i want to do but i will explain how you will do that you have to cut out the crown and it will make the brim is the brim that you gather to form the fascinator but i'm not going to be using this in this video i'll be making use of this plain one and you also need your alice band i've already covered my alice band with a material you can decide to cover it with your material and you can also leave it this way you can use your alice band and you can use that rubber band is it rubber band they call it now let me show you i think i have it around yeah this is what i'm saying you can make use of this but i'll be using this alice band you also need your pocket tools you can make use of any flower any accessories you want to embellish your fascinator but i'll be making use of this pocket tools you also need your glue gun with your candle uh what is it called candle gun and your needle and trade with your blade. You also make use of your blade. Now, all right, guys, let us get started. Before I start working on the design I'll be teaching you in this video, let me tell you something that when you are working on the straw mats, you can decide to change the dis design, like work on different design. Now, let me try to form something with this. Can you see how I'm folding it? Can you see how I'm folding this? You can decide to make it this way as a fascinator and just tack it with your needle and thread. Put your alice band and embellish it. You can just do it in any form, in any form to form that fascinator. Can you see what I'm doing? You can do it in any form to form that fascinator. You can decide to do it like this. Form your fascinator you can just play around with your straw mat to form any design you want all right let us go straight to the design now i will not be leaving it like this i will be using part of this straw mat to embellish my fascinator now i'm cutting like if you if you you will see the lines on it can you see the line so i will count one two three i'll be cutting that tv out to design my fascinator and you will see a fishing line there is the fishing line you're going to cut can you see how can you see what i'm doing so after i've got in the that one just cut it now you have to be careful while tearing it apart can you see that i've already done a mistake can you see you have to be very careful is this is one of the challenges that you face while working on straw mats but when you are careful you avoid that mistake now I'll try to sew this one together with it using that fishing line that I removed. You will see the fishing line. See the fishing line. Can you see? I don't know. Maybe you can see just tiny fishing line. I'll use the fishing line to sew this one together with the show, the original one I'm going to use. Let me go ahead and do that. Please, while working on your home, be very careful. Now I've corrected the mistake I made by turning the the one I removed to the main straw mat. Now we'll be cutting a circle inside this straw mat because the straw mat is not that big, so I will not be cutting too much circle. I like the circle will be cut, it will not be too big, just small. And that is what where I shot. Now it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 lines so now i'll be just trimming i'll just trim it out and while tearing it apart please be careful so that i will so 
so you will not make the same mistake I made the other time. So I'll just carefully tear it apart. So get it to the way, to this side. I'll just cut it out and secure it. Can you see? You can just secure it with your fishy line using your thread and your needle to tack it down, or just use your gum to gum it. Now I will be doing a running stitch on this edge and draw it together. So we have a straw man that is bigger than this. Before I started the running stitch, it just secure this place. I will sew it like three to four times before I continue. So I will just continue doing the running stitch. The running stitch is just like this. Now there will be space between your stitches. So like I said that there, there is one that is bigger than this, a little bigger than this. I think it's the best one to use for this design. Now no stand you can still make use of this. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just doing the running stitch. I will just draw everything together. If you want to draw the thread, don't just draw it like this. So that the thread will not cut, just draw it little by little, just like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Just draw it together like that. Make sure you draw everything together to have just small hole inside it. So now we just secure it so that it won't go back. Secure it together with this. Just make sure you sew it together. There's no any special sewing here. Just make sure you bring them together and sew it very well. Now this is what you we have. This is what you we have. So you just place something on it and to embellish it. Now I'll be using this. I'll just form it like this. Pack it together just to form something nice. So form something nice and place it here. Okay, just let me go ahead to do that. Now we'll be using the needle and thread. After tacking this one together, just use your needle and thread or your fishing line to sew it to this fascinator. So I'll just make sure I tack it very well. This one might not be that easy because it will be somehow hard. Just patiently do it very well. Make sure you use your machine thread if you are using a thread. So I'll just go ahead to tack it very well. Patiently tack it very well. There you the next thing to do. Now this is what you should have after tacking it down to fasten it. Now, in me and Mary Hall headway making, nothing should be wasted. Can you see this one? I will make use it. I will make use of it. If I don't even use it now, I will use it later. Now, just try to tear it apart the way we did earlier. I will cut like two of it. Where is my blade? I'm just going to cut it like this. 
goodness. You just cut it in a way that suits you. I think it's okay for me. Just want to don't want to, to waste. Now I can just do anything on it and place it also on this place. Let me just think of what I can do with it. Okay, let's just make it one. Let's make it one. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay like this. Just gather it together. Sew it the way we did that one. Sew it. That is what I'm going to do. And I'll place it on neat. We are good to go. So let me tack it together. Now, after tacking that to it, just fix your olive band. You can use your new gun to do that, and you can as well use your needle and tray to do it neatly. So I'll be using the needle and tray to do it. I will just find out where I'm going to place it, either the right side or the left side, before I tack it down with my needle and tray. I've indicated where I'm going to attach it to it. This is where I'm going to attach it at my left side. The left side right now. So anywhere you want to place it, just go ahead to tack it. I will be using the needle and thread. I will not be using a candle gum. Now, because I wrap this with a cloth, that is why it will be very easy for me to tack down to it. To tack it down. So I will just go ahead to do it very well now. Now, I will pick the straw mat. And also pick the clothes on the Alice band. You don't have to rush while working on this. Just patiently do it very well. As in. So after that, I'll just cross it over. Can you see what I'm doing? And I'll also pick it like this. I just try to tack it very well. So just cross it over like five to six times. Just make it firm on it. And if you don't use your this, what is it called now? If you don't wrap your Alice band with the clothes, you can just go ahead to do it the way I'm saying it. The way I said it, that you will cross it over four to five times, just to make it firm on it. Now we just go ahead to work on my own very well. I'll show you the next thing to do on your fascinator. Now here is what I have after sewing the lace band to the fascinator. Can you see how I cross it? And it's very firm now. Now you can just go ahead to use your bitter sham ribbon to cover this edge or your material. But I'll be using this to cover it. Can you still remember this? The one I cut out like the trimmer to form this. So the remaining part of it, I will be using it to cover this edge like this i will apply my candle gum on it there is no light now i'm very sorry <laughs> you'll be like radiance always don't have light don't mind us don't mind me so i'm going to use my candle gum i will apply it on it and cover that place for the top here you can just go ahead to embellish it with whatever you want with rose with flower with feathers anything you want for me, I'm going to be using this pocket rose. I will just, can you see, I'll bend it or just use my plier to cut out that out. And I will use my candle gum to attach it on top of it. On top like this, just attach it here. And it just be like this. And I'm ready to go. Just depends on what you want. Just go ahead to play on your fascinator. And for this part, Alice band, I just want to use this trimming to embellish the Alice band. I'm not going to leave it like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll still leave it like that. But I can place this on it just this way. Can you see? I think it's good to go. Yeah, that is what I will do. And I will show you the finished look of this beautiful fascinator made with straw mats. 
crazy. Now, if I tell you, I, I don't think I will. Okay, let me say I bought this 1,000. I bought this 400. Then I'm making one for me. At least brand 250. Also, how much would be that? 1,650. Oh, is this 650? Oh, 1,750. Or 650, like that. So let me say with less than 2,000, you are going to make your fascinator and sell it like 4,035 or more than that. So in Edward business is very lucrative business that with little amount you have, you can go ahead to make thousand. All right, thanks for watching with the inspiration and liking. I'm going to show you the finished look of my fascinator. Just watch till the end. Thank you. Here is the finished look. Can you see how it's beautiful? Can you see? So this is your straw mat fascinator. You can just raise it up like this or bend it down. Just depend on your choice. Raise it up, bend it down, or depend on your choice. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.